Drawing Tangents at a Chord In this video, we will learn how to draw tangents to a circle at the endpoints of a chord. Consider these instructions. Draw a circle with a radius of 5 cm, and draw a chord PQ of length 8 cm in it. And construct tangents at the points P and Q to the circle. According to the given instructions, we need to draw a circle of radius 5 cm. After that, we have to construct a chord PQ of length 8 cm. In the end, we have to construct the tangents at the endpoints PQ of the chord. Let's get started with the drawing process. Take a ruler and adjust it to a length of 5 cm as shown. Now, using this point as the center, draw a circle as demonstrated. Moving on, locate a point on the circumference of the circle and label it as P. Take a compass and adjust it to a length of 8 cm as shown. With point P as the center, draw an arc on the circumference of the circle. This will be our point Q. Then, connect points P and Q with a straight line, forming the required chord of 8 cm in length. Now, on to drawing the tangents at the endpoints of this chord. To achieve this, draw a line from the center of the circle to point P as demonstrated. After this, using point P as the center, adjust the compass to a certain length and draw arcs accordingly. Afterwards, readjust the compass to a length greater than half of the previous length. With points where the arcs intersect as centers, draw additional arcs, as shown. Finally, connect the points where these arcs intersect with a straight line. This line will serve as a tangent at point P of the chord. Similarly, let's proceed to draw the tangent at point Q. Draw a line from the center of the circle to point Q as indicated. Then, take a compass and adjust it to a certain length. With point Q as the center, draw arcs accordingly. After this, readjust the compass to a length greater than half of the previous length between the arcs. Using the points where the arcs intersect as centers, draw additional arcs. Finally, connect the points where these arcs intersect with a straight line. This line will form the tangent at point Q. And there you have it. This is how we construct the tangents at the endpoints of the chord. The method for drawing tangents to a chord remains the same, regardless of the chord's length. I hope this video has been helpful in enhancing your understanding. If you found it beneficial, please consider clicking on the like button to show your support. And if you're new to my channel, ADTW Study, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos. Thank you for watching.